Well, hello there, YouTubers. It's been a while since I've posted the video and been busy with some other things over the holidays and whatnot, so just now getting around to it. But I just recently had a project where I needed to cut a whole bunch of circles for a little project my head of the domestic engineering department had me going on. But I needed a whole gob of these, so, and I wanted them to be reasonably precise. Um, I can cut them freehand, and then you kind of don't get close, and it's kind of tough to repeat, repeat, repeat. So what I did, I made a little jig from a bandsaw here. I made it just out of scrap material that I had around the shop. And what it is, it's a piece of three-quarter three fir plywood, I think it is. So what I did with this, I took a piece of three-quarter plywood on the bottom here, and I routed about a quarter-inch deep rabbit in there by about an inch wide. Then I made a little, uh, made this little deal out of a piece of inch by, uh, it's a little smaller than eighth, so whatever gauge that would be. Cut a slot into it and put a little pin right in the, in the end of it there to serve as the pivot point when I turn this. This way, it allows me to adjust it to most any diameter I want to do within reason here. And this goes in like that. I actually could have done it just a carriage bowl on here, but didn't think of that at the time. So anyway, this piece goes in here, pinch down that slide and gauge there. And I've got a little thumb wheel on here that I can tighten it up with. This allows me to move that little pin wherever I want and to kind of get repeatability. The pivot point needs to be flush with the edge of the bandsaw blade. And I got this pretty close, but I'm still a little teeny bit off, so I just adjust it back when I slide it up here. So that has allowed me to cut a whole gob of repeat circles of various diameters. Now, I've got right now I've got a quarter inch blade on here, and about the smallest you can do with that is probably an inch and a half, and even then it's a little dicey. So I, the smallest I needed for this project was two inches, and this worked pretty well. They, they, it got tight in a couple of cases, but it worked all right. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how this works. It's got a little piece of poplar under on the bottom here to run this guide rail. I didn't, don't think I mentioned that earlier. And then I put a piece on the back here that stops when it gets to the fence, which should equate to when that pivot pin is right next to the front of the, the blade. these out that's probably about four inch I guess something like three and a half maybe so that worked out pretty well this worked so well for me I needed to get these discs once I had them cut on the bandsaw I needed a way to get them smooth and adjust them just perfectly so they would fit right in with, with reasonable precision into some holes that I had drilled with a with a hole saw so what I did is I came up with a similar idea for my 12 inch sander, your disc sander here, and I made something very similar. Again, put a little uh, slot on the bottom for the guide bar to fit in the guide slot. Made another little one of these to fit in that rabbit that I put in there. And then I just laminated the, uh, the top piece is a quarter inch piece of, of maple plywood that I went to that. And I uh, put some poly on it to keep it nice and smooth. So that fits right in here just like that. Now, I can go in here and adjust that up. I haven't got my sander, my vacuum hooked up in the sander, so I'm not gonna sand a lot on this right now. Obviously, you need to be very careful with your fingers on this thing because if you get them in there too far, it'll give you a nice manicure, a little more than you needed. But you can move this up just like I could on the bandsaw. 
So I'm just going to bump it right up to the edge there, tighten it down, turn on my sander. is sanded all the way around, perfect circle, and no hole going through it. So anyway, I use this thing, the combination of these, to probably cut out about 100 and 120 maybe different sizes of circles. Worked great. And actually, it didn't take that long. Once you, once you got things set up, it didn't take that long to do it. So uh, again, like I said earlier, there's a whole bunch of jigs for cutting circles on band saws on, the, on, the, on YouTube and on the internet. This is how I did it. Pretty basic. Didn't take me long to put that together. Pretty much the same thing here, but they sure work great for me. Anyway, Happy New Year out there, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed this short little video. Stay tuned for the next project. Take care.